hold up. Yay. Okay, no, but for real. Um, but did y'all get y'all tickets though? But did y'all get y'all tickets though? Okay, well, if you didn't get your tickets to the Motivation With Me live video, I'm going to need you to go ahead and get those. The link is in the description along with the coupon code. Okay, February 27th at 4 p.m. is going down. I will see you on the screen or in person. Okay, cute video. Hello. Hi. How y'all doing? Hey, hi. Hello. Hi. Um, Y'all know why I'm here. Mm, yeah. Y'all knew it was coming. Y'all y'all knew. Y'all knew. Um, it's Black History Month. Um, power to the people. It's it's happening. Okay. And I didn't got my nails done, so I'm really live at five. Uh and I talk on my hands, so get used to it. Yeah, this is normal for me. Um, if you've been watching them videos, then you know I get into some contra controversy. Con bitch, did you really just <laughs> Y'all know I'm tired of them. <laughs> I like the controversy, okay? I love anything black. Uh, I'm rooting for everybody black. Um, I like black shit, black lives, black everybody, black people. Um, yeah, black is definitely my thing. And by black, I definitely mean the race. Definitely mean the race, in case y'all didn't realize what's happening. Okay, so we gonna get into, and I hope I'm not freezing. I don't know what my camera is doing over here, so hopefully it's not messing up my video because what we ain't gonna do is that. Um, we definitely gonna get into this Shakari Richardson situation, and it is Shakari. That is definitely her name. I know everybody wanna call her Shakari Richardson. It just sound good, like it really do. Like it, it sound good. I ain't gonna lie, but it's definitely Shakari. So, um. What the fuck is happening? What? It's so much happening. <laughs> it's so much happening. I'm going to play a clip real quick by, uh, this is coming from the real YouTube page. I, let's, let's just be clear. Damn, my forehead big as shit. Let's just, be, <laughs> let's just be clear. I don't watch the news. I don't do the news. I don't watch the news. Um, disclaimer, also, I cuss. Okay? I cuss a lot. Like a whole lot. Like a lot a lot. And when I get to talking about black people, black history, and all things black, I, I tend to get a little loud and passionate. So, you know, I might escalate a little bit, so be ready to adjust that volume. Another thing, don't, don't play me in public. <laughs> if you at work and you surrounded by them, don't do that. Don't don't play me in the stove. Like get you some headphones. Like I want you to play the video, but I just like start cussing, and people gonna be looking at you like the fuck is she watching? But make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Get them watch hours up. Get them watch hours up. Shout out to my love gang. Okay, love gang in this thing. Y'all already know how we do. Y'all real. Period. Oh mamas. Okay, y'all are real. I I I love the comments. Like keep it going. Like. I love y'all. I love talking to y'all. Like, I'm in there. I'm in there. Talk to me. <laughs> Make sure you like and share and stay subscribed. If you ain't subscribed, subscribe. Dang, man. Anyway, um, I'm gonna make this short because I ain't got but 32 minutes on the timer because y'all know I ain't never got no space. I'm gonna play this clip. It's from the real daytime. They gonna get into it a little bit. I it's just just quick, just real quick. I, Cause and then I'm gonna get into my opinion on the whole situation. So let's go with that. My forehead big as shit. It don't make no sense for somebody to have this much forehead. What, girl, is my eyebrows not done? <laughs> the struggle. All right. Track star Shakari Richardson. Situation and mine. 
Uh, not my pause. My space didn't happen. My pause button didn't happen. Um, disclaimer also, I, this is, I'm using this video under fair use because YouTube like the copyright shit and I ain't got time for it. Um, this is not my video. I don't own the rights to it, but I'm using it as a reference. This is a teaching moment. Okay. I just want to put that out there because you know, they be tripping and I ain't got time for it. Exactly. Okay, pause. I like how she handled that. Like, because that was my same thinking. I didn't want to pull the race card, like, immediately off the top. I get that's why everybody is, is reacting to it. I, I get that's why Sha'Carri reacted to it. That's, that's what it is. It is what it is. Like, at this point... I'm not surprised. I'm not I'm not surprised at all. Um I like the way because I don't want to replay the video. I, fuck them. I'm fucked <laughs> up. I have to say it like that. <laughs> but I done watched that video a million times. I already know what they're gonna say. Uh y'all can look it up yourself, cause nah, whatever. Um, definitely race. Okay, and before y'all get in my comments with that bullshit, because it's, it's going to be one of y'all, two of y'all, possibly 20 of y'all, excuse me, that hop in my inbox, uh, not my inbox, god damn, I'm tired of shit, girl, <laughs> hop in my comments on that bullshit, it's definitely race, it's a whole lot of other things, but it's definitely race. I'm going to get into why I don't agree with the shit and the part that I don't like about it that nobody's talking about. First of all, let me tell you something. I don't watch the Olympics. I don't know shit about the Olympics. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I don't want to talk about the difference in the organizations and the Russia versus U.S. situation. I fuck all that. We finna talk about the fact that, for one, we talking about two different drugs. We, I, and I'm not going to try to say that goddamn drug name. It's not happening. Um, we talking about two different drugs. Like she said, we talking about a performance enhancement drug versus marijuana. And before y'all say it, y'all don't I smoke say it ain't your job. <laughs> like who about don't society, smoke society, it's people like not the Olympics weed. administration. But so get your panties out of the bunch. Like, That's what I mean. And everybody's like, well, she's a, an athlete. She shouldn't be smoking weed or doing anything. First of all, her mama passed away. If that's how she chose to cope with it, that's her right. That's her decision. It ain't your job to tell her what she can and cannot do. And again, like they saying, weed slows you down. It's not a performance enhancement drug. The the Russian, Camilla, whatever, because <laughs> I'm not, I already said it. She took a performance enhancement drug. First of all, she's 15 years old, and they're using this whole age thing. It's a load of bullshit. It's a load of bullshit. It don't age don't matter. We talking about white versus black. We talking about marijuana versus performance enhancement drugs. It's so many more factors to this. Like, her age, I don't want to hear that bullshit. 
Because they were they they said it was gonna basically mess up her reputation. Okay, but what about Shakari's reputation? And that's the issue that I have is that when she did it, when Shakari did it, she smoked a little weed. Okay, everybody came with this outpour of straight bashing her for smoking weed. Like it was, I don't like the way they handle my good sis. That's the issue I have. She was judged for one based on her appearance, based on they was judging her by her nails. So because she was black, had tattoos, wore lace front, and had long nails, she automatically off the rip, ghetto, black, shouldn't be in sports. Like y'all got all these bad things to say about her. She from Dallas. That was a borderline shade insult. And let me tell you, I'm from Houston. You know, Houston and Dallas got their beef, but at the end of the day, she's from Texas. I don't like how they handle Shakari versus how they handling the Russian girl. Why ain't nobody getting on her ass? Like, why ain't nobody embarrassing the fuck out of her? Why are we not talking about the way she look or her skin color or whatever? It's because she ain't got long nails. She ain't black. She don't come off ghetto. Like, she can get away with shit to enhance her performance, but Shakari can't smoke a little weed? I got a problem with that. I, I got a problem with that. And then she, they want to pull the, she was forced to take it. Or she could have been given the drug by an adult. Could she have? Yes. That is possible. But the story is she accidentally drank from her grandpa's cup. First of all, it's COVID. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't drinking from nobody's goddamn cup. I don't even drink after my mama. Like, that's a load of bullshit. Ain't no way. Because, first of all, you have to have a certain amount of the substance for it to come out and you, be in your system like that for you to actually fail a drug test. I'm not going to tell you how I know that. But I know that. She had enough in her system to fail a drug test. Sis ain't accidentally drink from a goddamn thing. She took that shit. She took that shit. And whether an adult gave it to her, they fucked up for even doing that. That's wrong on their part. And yes, she is a minor, so the adult should be more responsible. But at the end of the day, she took that shit. Period. It was in her system. She shouldn't have been able to, they should have write that performance enhancement, you out. And then again, I'm not going to go into the whole organization, U.S. versus Russia and all that. No, no, fuck that. I don't, we're not going to do that. You took the shit. It was wrong. Your ass should have been sat the fuck down, not able to compete, not able to get no medals, not able to do a goddamn thing. You lucky if you even able to skate again. I be trying not to get mad. <laughs> like, I, I be trying not to get mad because it's so, like, I have other issues with it. Yes, my biggest issue is race, but the bigger issue is how they handle Shakari because of race. She was judged off the rip. And what pissed me off even more, what it, it was black people that was tearing her down. Like, she had black people rooting for her, but at the same time, it was us tearing her down now do i feel like she need a pr person yes <laughs> yes because sis be kind of saying some shit that she don't need to be saying sometimes she definitely need a pr person like she yeah she for sure need that i'm i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say she don't like she come off a little aggressive but i feel like her coming off aggressive and her having tattoos or wearing lace fronts and having long nails and ha look a certain way or her appearance, I don't feel like that should be a factor. From somebody like me who, first of all, I got long nails and tattoos. Y'all can't see my tattoos. Sometimes you can. But this happens to me a lot. Because I'm loud, because I'm I'm country, because I, use, I have long nails, they're usually longer than this, but I had to cut them bad boys down some, because I can come off really aggressive. Like, if you know, you know, I automatically come off aggressive. That's just who I am. Like, my face be aggressive. 
And people make this assumption that because she's black, because she has a certain appearance, because she come off aggressive, she automatically is labeled ghetto, she ain't got no intelligence, no education, oh my God, she's just another ghetto black girl from the hood. But let me tell you something. This black girl, black woman, I should say, this black woman with long nails, tattoos, colored braids, aggressive mentality, or the way my words come out is aggressive, is intelligent as fuck. With two accounting degrees, with two businesses and a nonprofit, and also works as the lead accountant in a corporate setting now and has the experience to do that. Don't judge people based on how they look. This shit fucked up. It's fucked up. Period. It's fucked up. And I don't care if you say it ain't race. Black people always trying to pull the race card. Y'all always talk. Y'all gotta make everything about race. Because it is. What ignorant what world do y'all live in? It's always about race. Always. Yes, we're going to pull the race card. We have every right to pull the race card because y'all make shit about our race because it's called racism. Yup, I hate this man with this loud ass goddamn truck. Bastard. The hood. The ghetto. <laughs> the ghetto. But y'all make everything about race. We live in a world of racism. So we have the right to pull the race card. Just like y'all get on us for the shit that we do because we're black. Y'all make assumptions because we're black. Y'all are racist because we're black. Y'all don't like us because we're black. I can go all day. So it's okay to be racist, but it's not okay to pull the race card. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Yes, we're pulling the race card because it's some racist shit. I don't give a damn, Russian or not, this, her skin's still white. She was born white. Shakari was born black. And they are handling it two different ways. And it's not fair. Especially when you bring the drugs into it. It's weed. Her mama died. And she admitted to the shit. Like, I, like, why? <laughs> I got so many problems. Like, I have so many issues with this. And I don't care if you agree or disagree. I really don't give a damn. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. And this is mine. My opinion and my thing about it, because I always try to look at other parts of it. Like, I don't want to just say, oh, it was a racist thing. The, the Russian girl, Camilla, is is white, and Shakari is black, is automatically racist. Yes, this is true. But let's go beyond that, though. Let, let's talk about more, though. Let's talk about how it was displayed when she did it versus now. Don't get, don't, don't get confused. Don't be, don't be one-sided. Think outside the box. I don't like how she was portrayed. I don't like how people took her down. If you felt like she was ghetto and she wasn't qualified to be in the Olympics, you keep it to your goddamn self. <laughs> like, keep it to your goddamn self. Especially if you want to us. I hate when we tear each other down. Why do we do that? Why can't be collaboration over competition? I don't understand that. I don't have to agree with what you're doing, but that don't mean I got to tear you down, especially on social media and in public. Like, why? Why? Nothing's going to change until we actually come together and stop tearing each other down. Like, this got to stop. All this shit got to stop. I'm sick of it. <laughs> like, I'm sick of it. I'm over it. The shit was racist. 
of course, politics had a lot to do with the shit because politics got a lot to do with every motherfucking thing. And I hate politics. I don't talk about politics. I don't like politics. That's not my thing. I will talk about racism in America, injustice, inequality, mass incarceration. I will talk about shit like that, but I'm not, I'm not going to get into politics because I'm worried about the fact that y'all treating or treated this African-American woman horribly compared to a 15-year-old Russian with white skin. She white. I understand she Russian, but she ain't black. She white. She ain't Hispanic. She white. She ain't Chinese. She white. Or Asian. I'm sorry. Let me correct that. Period. That's my, that's my issue. I, I don't like the way it's being handled. It's fucked up. And she has every right to speak out on that shit. Do it. Call that shit out. That's the problem. If we call the shit out more, maybe it'll be a change. Like we do. Don't get me wrong. Some of us out here really be rooting for everything black. But we definitely need to call the shit out more. Everybody want to be black in February. But what, January and March, what, y'all ain't got nothing to say? <laughs> like, y'all ain't got nothing to say? And it's your right if you don't want to speak on racial issues. But I still feel like in order for us to get ahead, we actually have to speak out. And even if you don't speak out, do something. Anything. Support a black-owned business. Support a black person. Like, it literally be the, as minor, I'm going to get into a whole new... I'm going to get into a whole nother topic. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to say that one for another video. <laughs> like, I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to say that one for another video. Um, and I'm definitely going to hit y'all with another one because I'm black and I, I like to talk about black shit. <laughs> like, I like to call white people out on their shit. Like, Natalie was, was for real when she said that shit. Because I don't have a problem talking about shit like that. Does it make me mad? Yeah. And that's the same fuel and passion that I'm going to use to talk about shit. Because I don't hold my tongue for nobody. For nobody. It's coming out. <laughs> that's why I can relate to Shakari because I, I done did some shit like that. I done said something. I got to call this shit out. Y'all racist as fuck. I smoked some weed. My mama passed away. This 15-year-old girl took a performance enhancement drug, enough to where it was in her system and she failed a drug test. I don't give a fuck who gave it to her. She took it. She's a 15-year-old athlete. She took it. And then, what about her reputation? What? What about Shakari's reputation? Oh, okay. Because they didn't give a fuck about her reputation. I'm done. I We got to do better. Like, I'm done. I And again, I, the comments, I, I'm ready for it. It ain't shit y'all can say to me. That's going to, like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't. Like, I have, my level of give a fuck is just not there. I don't give a fuck. You're entitled to your own opinion. You come with the bullshit, you just come with the bullshit. Okay, if that's how you feel. I done dealt with racist motherfuckers on my YouTube before. I'm going to laugh at you. Because when you call racism out, when you talk about Karens and Kens and racist shit, you going to get backlash. That's the whole point. Because white people don't want to hear us say shit. They want us to lay down and take it. Listen, I'm going to come with another one. I'm, I'm going to come with another one. I am, um, and I'm going to definitely drop it before Black History Month. I'm going to drop this one soon, but I'm definitely coming back with another one. And if y'all have any topics, then let me know. I will talk about that. Uh, motivation, reaction, racism. I, I do all the things. I do everything. If y'all have videos y'all want me to react to, send them to me. Okay, my email, my information is in the description every time. So you can send send them to me, tag me in them, element to me on Instagram, Miranda Evans on Facebook, all that. Run, run them this way. 
Okay. I, I value y'all opinion because y'all the ones watching it. Okay. So that's all I got for this one. All right. <laughs> black lives, black power, black history month, power to the people.